Hi guys, hope everyone is doing okay. This is Adelina. Today I'll be making some chicken and sauce, um, also known as pollo guisado in Spanish. It's a very delicious dish, and I'm going to go step by step on how you make it. Now if you come closer here, the chicken has been washed, thoroughly cleaned, all the fat has been taken out. So I'm going to put it in the pot. Here we go. I have some with skin, because some people like the skin cooked and some without skin because some people don't like the skin. So, there. I'm going to add all this chicken in here. I washed it with vinegar. It's nice and clean. The dark home room. Okay, here we go. Now, okay, now that we have all the chicken in the pot, we're going to add some cilantro, peppers, and onions, which are already clean and washed. So we're going to add that in there. And as you notice, I didn't use the same spoon as the chicken because it caused contamination of food. Okay, then we're going to add some potatoes. And then we're going to add two envelopes of sazon, Goya. Two. We're going to add some adobo. We're going to add some, a little bit of oregano. A little bit of black pepper. Garlic powder. Here we go. Garlic powder. I can open it. Okay, cool. Here we go. Garlic. I like garlic. We're going to add some olives. A couple of olives. Not a lot of people like olives. Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of Goya Recaito, gives it flavor also, gives it a nice, nice taste, okay. And then of course we're going to add tomato paste, see and I, I have put this one away, which I'm going to use. And then if it's not enough, I'll just open the other one. Put it in there. And then we're going to add some water. Cold water. And then it sits here. Add some cold water. Now don't put a lot of water because the chicken will let out its own water. So. You don't want it to be too watery. You don't want it to be. And now we're going to move everything around in the pot. Make sure it gets flavor. Of course, you're going to taste it later on to see if it needs anything else. Don't forget to smash your sauce in there. Or you can, if you like, you can mix with water before you put it in the pot. So you'll make sure that it's all nice and uh, not. Uh, Soft and not all bunched up. Here we go. Now we're gonna put this to cook. Just let it cook slow. Cover it, put it on slow flat or low fire. Let the meat get all the seasoning from all the stuff you put in there. If you like I said, if you need more sauce, you can put more tomato paste in there. If you think it's good, so how it is then. I like my steak, but I don't like it to taste too much like soy sauce. 
I'll have to see after a little while. Alright, are we ready for it to go on the stove? I'm going to remove this part. We're going to put this on the stove, the low flame. Rinse the pot real quick. And the cover of the lid. Here we go. See? I'll show you the end result when it's done. I hope yours comes out as good as mine. I'm going to make this with some white rice and a nice salad on the side. It makes for a delicious meal. You can also make it with totones, which is green plants. Fried, smashed, and re-fried. Okay, so I'll see you at the end of the, of the cooking. Oh guys, this is a finishing dish. See? Nice and thick. The sauce is nice and thick. Chicken is nicely cooked. And here is the full plate. White rice. Nice salad I made. Cucumbers on the side in case somebody don't like them. And strawberries, if you like strawberries in your salad, then I hope the people I made for enjoy it, and I hope you subscribe to my channel, like my channel, and share my channel. Thank you very much, and have a good evening.